Uh, we're joined live by Anne Riot, a retired U.S. Army colonel in uh, Kabul. Well, hello to you. Thanks for joining us. Now, if the claims are true, it, it means the U.S. is opening up a new front in a war they're looking to wind down. Does that suggest withdrawal will be more difficult, in your opinion? Well, the, the reports that the U.S. Uh, military forces, special forces, op are actually operating uh, in covert missions in Pakistan is very, very worrisome. We've, we've heard rumors of that before. Uh, this uh, latest New York Times article uh, is kind of confirming what, what is known, and it's a very dangerous situation for the United States to be getting into. You say a very dangerous situation indeed. I and mean, if the coalition does go into Pakistan, what, what do you think are the chances for success? Or could it mean just another stalemate for, for years to come? Well, the, the, the issue of a, a, a country going into another country's uh, sovereign territory, conducting military operations, uh, is very dangerous for that, that country itself, Pakistan, where uh, the U.S. Uh, popularity rating, so to speak, uh, less than 15 percent of the people in Pakistan think that there's anything positive coming from uh, U.S. Uh, military operations, even in Afghanistan. But what's happened in, in uh, Pakistan with the U.S.-sponsored uh, drone missions, the numbers of people that have been killed by drones, the huge, massive movements of people in the Swat Valley because of the military operations, with no uh, consideration really for uh, taking care of those people as they, as they leave. It's a very, very dangerous uh, U.S. operation uh, that is jeopardizing, I think, the sovereignty and, and the stability of Pakistan, not improving the stability of Pakistan at all. Indeed, and Pakistan says it opposes operations on its territory, and of course, it is a nuclear state. But how safe do you think these operations would be? Well, uh, Pakistan, I think the Pakistani government is uh, uh, playing a dual role. Uh, they are saying to their own people, uh, we don't want these Americans on our territory, and yet they are allowing it. In fact, the United States has given them something like $3 billion uh, in extra military aid as a, as a bribe to let the U.S. go ahead and take mili have military operations there. And as a nuclear state of, of Pakistan, of course, the security of the, the nuclear facilities is always of, of great, great concern. Uh, the, and, and it's a concern that we have in the U.S. of our own na uh, nuclear security. Uh, I think most nations are taking this nuclear security pretty lightly, quite honestly. They're using it to scare the citizenry, but they themselves are not taking the steps that are really necessary to secure those facilities. We just had a trial up in Washington State in, in the United States where five people were able to, over, to climb over five fences uh, and sit in a nuclear area for like three hours. So the United States does not even take its own net nuclear security uh, uh, with, with as much concern as I as an American citizen wanted to. And I certainly am concerned for sure about uh, the, the Pakistani nuclear program and that it needs to be secure. But these types of operations uh, that the U.S. is doing in Pakistan will only encourage people to do uh, things uh, against their own government that, that, that we don't, I don't want them to do. I don't want anybody going after these nuclear weapons. Uh, briefly, do, you, do these reports, do you think, show that the U.S. has practically confirmed that they failed to convince Islamabad to deal with the problem on its own? Well, the, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite understand that last question. Uh, one of the things, though, that I, I would say, uh, uh, just in general, that I believe that the United States definitely needs to be uh, removing its troops from, from Afghanistan. This a total increase in military operations in Afghanistan with the massive loss of life. I mean, multiple times more than what has happened in the previous years, plus these incursions into Pakistan, is making the region much more unstable, not stable. Okay, I'm right. We appreciate your comments here. Retired U.S. Army Colonel, thank you for joining us here on RT.